consider this video a short masterclass for titles in After Effects. We're gonna go through several vital aspects of putting together great typography through layout, font and color choices, animation, and how to ultimately expand your title to fit the growing needs of your project. So after watching this video, you should be able to produce really cool typography and actually understand some of the fundamentals that go behind clean titles. Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel, Sunduck Film. Please be sure to drop a like on this video. It does help us out tremendously, but let's jump in and let's get started. All right, here we are in After Effects and you can download the project files if you wish to follow along and break this down. But this tutorial is all about being able to start with a title that's small, you know, one simple title, and then being able to expand on that title very easily as your needs grow. So, you know, this way, if you're working on like a bigger project that wants to keep, you know, the branding kind of consistent throughout the title animations, you'll be able to just easily add more titles onto this or just go with the simple one or two titles. So this is essentially an ultimate title walkthrough. All right, so the first thing you wanna do if you wanna to put together a really cool title uh, is to lay it out before you do any animation. So we'll grab our textile tool here at the top and we're gonna use the font Monstera and I never pronounce fonts correctly, so just get used to it. <laughs> and the reason why I like uh, typefaces like this uh, is because it has a variety of different styles or fonts within them. So for me, when it comes to a main title, I like it to either be bold uh, or even bolder than that, which would be like something like black or extra bold if that typeface has that available. So we're going to use uh, the black variation of this typeface and we'll type out our main first title. Now there's a couple of principles when you lay out your first title. Typically your main title should probably be the biggest focus here. So if you look at some of the templates within our 100 title pack, you'll see that the main titles are the largest and then any subtitles uh, are smaller. So that's one thing to think about when putting together uh, your titles. So we'll go ahead and increase the font size to make this word large. And if you come here to the line tab, you can center up your title, be right in the middle of your composition. Now we'll come back and revisit the typography principle because I kind of want to go out of order here and show a simple title layout and then expand upon it. So once you have your title typed out, next thing you want to do is add any shape. So we'll grab the rectangle tool here at the top, click on the word fill, set it to none, and we'll click on the word stroke and set it to solid color. Click OK, we'll just set this to white. And this will allow us to create an outline around our title. So you can go ahead and just draw that roughly around your title. And then since we're doing this all in the center of our composition, we come here to the line tab and we can center this up. Uh, if you're not doing this in the center of your composition, you, all you have to do is select both layers and you can align them that way as well. And then we come here and increase the stroke width. So that layout looks pretty good. The next thing you want to do is any coloring after the layout's been done. So we can grab our main title. And one thing I love doing with titles is creating a gradient on it. So we'll go to effect, generate, and we'll grab gradient ramp. And I just love being able to create a slight color variation within the main title. So what we can do is we have these two anchor points. You can bring the top one down a little bit and the bottom one up and we'll kind of meet there at the where the title is at, right? And we'll go ahead and select our color. So we, I want this to be kind of yellow, like as in the template here. I'll come here to the second color. I'll select the previous color here. And then all I'm gonna do is click on it and just make it a little bit darker. And they'll create a nice set of, you know, gradient contrast is so subtle. So, you know, overall that looks pretty good. All right, so now some of you might be ready to animate this because, you know, we have our main title here. But before we do that, I wanna go ahead and add just some additional titles to this. So perhaps you're gonna have some secondary or just some subtitles you like to add on to this. So we'll grab the textile tool and we'll type out our next title here. What I like working with the same typeface is that you can have different variations of that font. So a lot of people might go to a light font when they're working with a secondary title. But for me, I actually like to keep things still as girthy as possible. I like to have girth, right? It helps the title still stay easy to read. So we'll keep this still at a black font and I'll go ahead and just resize this down until I'm happy. So we can still create great sizing contrast between the main title and the subtitle by using the same font. It's all about sizing. And another thing we can do here to create even more contrast is to slightly increase the tracking here. So we set this up to 50. It'll make a subtle difference. And first I have a title at the bottom. We can quickly duplicate this title and then we can just bring this underneath everything and change out our title. And we'll still have good contrast between the main title and uh, the other two titles. 
Before we move on to the next step in our typography tutorial, creating motion graphics from scratch can take hours to days of your time. So to help you save time and produce excellent work, we have produced over 10,000 pre-made templates for After Effects and Premiere Pro. For example, you can preview templates right here in After Effects without leaving the software with the Motion Duck extension and apply a template, say, from our title pack to your project. From there, you can change colors, titles, and everything you need to get your project done. In under a minute, you have a full graphic ready to go for your personal and client projects. Be sure to check out our links in the description below to see all the templates and start saving time now. All right, so now that we have some basic titles in here, we can now talk about animation. Uh, so the layout's first and then animation is second. Uh, and then we'll expand upon this title even more after we get the animation out of the way. Uh, but this is typically the route that I would take. So we have our main title, the first, that's the first thing we'll animate. So first things first, we'll open this up, we'll come here to the animate tab and we can open this up and we can add a variety of different parameters for this animation. So if you wanna scale this in, you can add that rotation. Uh, this is honestly the best way to do it. So for example, we can come here and just add scale. We can set this down to 0% and open up range selector one, add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward in time by a second uh, and set this up to 100%. So each letter will animate on just like that. And what we can do is like both these keyframes, hit F9 on our keyboard to make them easy ease. Go to our graph editor and we can select both of the points here and we can just drag these into the center. So this creates a really cool snapping animation. So I want to animate these subtitles a little bit differently. Uh, so I want these to be revealed in from underneath this box here. So what we can just quickly do is, you know, select both of these layers, hit P on keyboard for position, add a keyframe for both of them, move them forward in time and just drag these titles to be inside the box on the first frame of the composition. You know, and that looks good. We can just select the back end of the keyframes here, hit F9 on keyboard. And then this time around with both of these selected, we can just drag these last uh, handles in and this will create that snapping animation at the top. So this looks terrible. How do we hide these very easily? So what we can do to hide these titles is we can just take our stroke box here. We can duplicate it and set the fill to uh, black and we will go ahead and turn off the stroke. All right, and we can just hide this box because we just wanna keep this a stroke layer still because we wanna have that transparency that you can overlay this on top of video. But then we'll grab one of our title layers, go to effect um, channel and we'll grab set mat. And we'll set that mat layer uh, to that duplicated box. And we can check on invert mat. And then we'll go ahead and copy the set mat and paste it to the other title layer. And once we go through this, the titles are hidden by that you know, hidden box right there. All right, and the last principle we wanna do is animate our original stroke box. So we'll go ahead and open this up. And since this is a shape layer, we come here to add and add a trim path to this. So we can animate this line very easily. We can open this trim paths up and we can add a keyframe for end and move that forward in time and set the end to 0%. So that's one way to use this effect. We can also add a keyframe for offsets, move to that last keyframe and just adjust the offset. We can select both keyframes to the F9 keyboard for easy ease and go to the graph editor and do that similar animation that we did earlier. So now we'll have this overall animation and that just looks nice. You can offset your title layers in time by a little bit. So not everything's coming in at the same exact moment. So here it is and boom, and that looks really good. That's really awesome for a you know title that has a couple of secondary titles attached to it. So what happens if you're working on a project that requires to have some additional information, usually in the form of a block of text, you know, underneath the main title? Well, we're gonna go through those principles on how to make that look good. So first things first, a lot of people like to grab the text title tool and they'll just type everything out in this one layer and then they'll go through this and hit enter on their keyboard uh, and, you know, create multiple lines uh, this way. I think it's just not an efficient way to do it. What I like to do is just grab the textile tool and just draw out a text box like this. So you click and you drag, and then you can just type in your text. And as you can see by dragging in the sides of this text box, it will bound how long the width is of each line. So right here, I think it's a good idea to start working with a lighter font. Now we could still go with like bold if that's gonna be too thin, but when you're working with a lot of text like this with other bold fonts, it doesn't look visually pleasing. So going with a lighter font uh, when working, you know, more text might be something you want to go with. It just depends. You need to keep in mind that, you know, it, are people actually going to be able to read this? 
um, and you feel free to play with the sizing and the tracking of everything. Uh, here's the leading, which will dictate how much room is between each line. So that's important to keep in mind. Now, as a quick tip here, since we designed everything to be here in the middle and we're starting to run out of room here in the bottom of our composition, uh, what people might want to do is collect everything and move this title up. But since we've already done position animations here, it's going to mess up everything. So what I typically do is I go to layer, new, null object, and I grab all of our layers and I parent it to the null and I hit P on my keyboard for position on that null object and I just move everything up. And then you're welcome to delete the null object after you're done using it. And that just makes it easy to move things up. Okay, so now let's talk about some further animation on this new title. So what we can do is open this up, go to animate, and this time around we'll add just a position. And we can also come here to add property and add a opacity. And we'll come here to the Y position and we can bring this down because we'll reveal each word up from the bottom. And then we can set our opacity down to 0%. And we'll come here to range selector 1. We'll add a keyframe for start and we'll move forward in time. Set up to 100%. And by default, each letter will animate one at a time. What we can do to fix that or change the parameters here is come here to the Advanced tab, change it from characters to words. And then we'll go ahead and maybe time out the keyframes to be a little bit longer. Um, and hit F9 on your keyboard to make them easy ease. Do your graph editor stuff. And now we have an additional title to our already awesome title. All right, so the last thing I want to do is just add one more, you know, post title here, here at the bottom with an additional line. So I first looked, this probably looks similar to what we did at the beginning of the tutorial with what we did up here, but you know, things are just going to be a little bit different this time around. We can't use the same exact techniques. So we'll go ahead and grab the pen tool here, click on the word fill, make sure it's set to none, click on strokes at a solid color. And we'll use a stroke width of maybe like five. And we'll just click a point here, hold down shift on keyboard and just click another point and this will draw a straight line across like so. Uh, we can open up the shape layer, go to add, and we'll add a trim path to this. And we'll open this up. And we'll add a keyframe for start and end right now. Move those keyframes forward and set the end to 50% and the start to 50%. And do the same exact keyframe animations as we've been doing this entire tutorial. So now we have a line here at the bottom and that's cool. And what we can do is take one of these titles that we've already created at the top, duplicate it, and we can easily move this duplicated title down by going to that last keyframe, selecting both keyframes, and you come here to the Y value, we can just bring this down. And I'll go ahead and retitle it real quick. And remember, always be thinking about contrast. So we'll use a bold typeface and we'll make this a little bit smaller so it doesn't like punch out at us. And of course, we want the title just to be a little bit smaller than that line. Okay, so what we can do here to hide the line is just grab the rectangle tool again and turn off the stroke and select a color here to, uh, to turn on the fill. And we'll just draw a box that will hide this title here. But we can use a set matte technique, but also what we can do is take the shape layer, put it right above that title layer and set the track matte to alpha inverted matte. If you don't see the track matte, you come here to the bottom and toggle switch the modes until you see it. So now we're gonna have this ultimate title animation ready to go with all these different types of techniques. Remember to always turn on motion blur right here and make sure it's turned on at the top. If you're looking to save time in Premiere Pro and After Effects when it comes to titles and other motion graphics, you can check out our packs below. Uh, we also have some free After Effects and Premiere Pro packs uh, with templates with them. So you can download those and give everything a test. Other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and always be creating.